<laughs> Hello, people. Another beautiful day. Yeah. Hope your five senses work. Health and strength is good. What? What's up, gamers? Look, I told you a lot of things can happen in 10 days, right? A lot can happen within 10 days, right? With this Activision Blizzard court case, right? So let me give let me let me give you the scenario. <laughs> Activision Blizzard was having problems, right? Issues, right? Sony got the um, the rights to Call of Duty, right? Got got they they got they got the right to Call of Duty, right? Nint Nintendo didn't do anything. So when the situation was happening, happening, Sony was cupcaking with Call of Duty, not paying attention to Activision Blizzard. Nintendo did nothing. Phil Spencer realized that nobody controls Activision Blizzard, but he also realized that Sony has the Call of Duty, um, the Call of Duty uh, contract, Call of Duty contract, and it expires in a couple of years. So Phil Spencer now he runs back to the heads at Microsoft and was like, "Look, we we need we need to jump on this. We need to jump on this." The heads at Microsoft is like, "Okay," talking to the other. The other heads and the shareholders like, okay, should we get involved? Is this any of our business? Should we care? Should we help them? Does Activision Blizzard matters? What benefit is Activision Blizzard to us? I mean, should we really help them? Should we really help them? Should we leave them alone? What y'all think? Okay, go. Take 70 billion with you. You you, you remember when um you were seen the Justice League? Remember when Superman was watching Flash coming around the corner? This is how Phil Spencer was looking at Sony and Nintendo like this. Got him. The deal is done. Microsoft just purchased Activision Blizzard <laughs> for $68.7 billion. So Sony now, they're cupcaking with Call of Duty. And I guess they were thinking, oh, it will solve itself. But they didn't see what Phil Spencer does this. Phil Spencer is like this, looking at Sony and Nintendo like this. Got him. And once they made the deal... Then the panic start to happen. Then Sony realized like, oh, Microsoft just brought Activision Blizzard. Our contract is up with uh, Call of Duty. We have no control over Call of Duty anymore. And then pan panic start to happen. Sony start running all over the place <laughs> to get help. <laughs> the CMA, the EU, the regulators are like this. <laughs> They're shaking their head of what just happened. Then here comes the FTC now. They try to block the case, but they, even they know they're like this. Like, what were you thinking, Sony? What were you thinking? Why didn't you step in? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. But anyway, listen to this, though. Take Two Interactive is getting involved on the case. So, okay. You got, okay, you got the public. You got the public, right? You got the shareholders. You got the employees, right? You got four countries behind this, right? That's Serbia, Saudi Arabia, Chile, and Brazil, right? You got um, NVIDIA. They, they, they support Microsoft, right? Even Tencent, right? Valve just brought their own court, uh, their, 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 court uh, their own lawyers to the case because they don't want to get, get, they don't want uh, anything to happen to them, okay? Being screwed over, right? But now take two now is getting involved in this. Listen to this. <laughs> Listen to this. Says here, Grand Theft Auto publisher Take Two in, uh, Interactive will be a part of the FTC merger investigation as a non-party slash third party in the relevant video game market. Mm. Says here, what's up, Tweak Town? Anyway, says here, uh, Take Two Interactive uh, hired three lawyers to represent the company. In the Federal Trade Commission ongoing administrative proceeding of the Microsoft Activision merger, the merger case file was updated with three notice of appearance for Take Two chosen legal counsel. Then it says here uh, the game company has hired 
James Artridge, Michael Keeley, and Jason Wasserman, uh, uh, Wasserman from the Axon uh, Veltrop and Hark Ryder Law Firm to represent Take Two, rep represent Take Two during the merger proceedings. Axon had previously advised Take Two on its one billion bid for Codemasters back in 2020. <laughs> then it says here. Take Two Interactive involved in the merger case bears clarification. The company is acting as a third party, a non party, in the FTC investigations. According to the Federal Trade Commission procedure guidelines, third party help uh, fac facilitate a better understanding of certain markets by provi providing key documentation, data points, and testimony. It is expected that the publisher will provide information to help speed along the FTC merger case. Take-Two Interactive operate two of the most popular publishing uh, labels in the game industry. With Rockstar Games, who released the billion dollar Grand Theft Auto franchise and annualized sports publisher uh, 2K Games, the group undoubtedly has quite a bit of relevant information matrix and findings regarding the profitability of its games on the PlayStation and Xbox Marketplace. Uh, take two recent acquisitions of Zynga could also help the FTC understand the mobile game market. Mm. We know that Take Two is pro merger and is not compliant like Sony is. The firm CEO Strauss Zelnick has openly and publicly supported the Microsoft Activision merger and has typically exhibited con candor and level headed responsiveness to investors analysis and media concerning evolving trends in the video game marketplace and that's the end of the article and this article is from uh twig town what's up twig town all right that's the end of the article so now i told you a lot can happen within 10 days i told you so now you got and you got nvidia 10 cent take two you got Serbia, Chile, Brazil, Saudi Arabia. You got the you got the um, the shareholders, the public, the employees. Yeah, this case is big, man. So um, while Sony was when Activision Blizzard was out in the open, Sony was cupcaking with Call of Duty, thinking that the situation was gonna solve itself and nothing was gonna happen. Nintendo didn't even step in. So Phil Spencer now, he saw that nobody owns Activision Blizzard. And then he saw that Sony contract with Call of Duty expire in a couple of years. And so and Phil Spencer ran back now to the heads at Microsoft and was like, look, we need to jump on this now. And they were like, okay, what do you think? Should we get involved? Is it any of our business? Should we care? Should we help them? Do they need our help? What benefit is Activision Blizzard to us? Stuff like that, right? What y'all think? Okay, go. Take 70 billion with you. And Phil Spencer sitting there watching so Phil, Mike, Phil Spencer, head of Xbox Gaming Division, watching Sony and Nintendo and then looking at them like this. Got him. Okay? And let the panic begins, okay? So yeah, I told you a lot can happen in 10 days within this case. March 1st, Sony got to come up with papers. <laughs> yeah. The FTC got to battle the FTC. Oh, 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 those countries are going to come into play. So you got companies now supporting Microsoft. Take two now is a non-third party. And they're going to bring their insight and wisdom. They're going to learn some things from this case. They're going to learn a lot from it. But they're going to bring some insight and wisdom about the game industry and the mobile market to the um, to the case. So yeah, a lot can happen within ten days. <laughs> yeah. So um, uh, this case is big, man. I told you they were going to fight for this. This is big. Okay, Se seventy billion, sixty-eight point nine, seventy billion. Oh yeah. This case is big, so yeah. Uh, we'll keep you guys posted on this uh, this court case, but yeah. But Phil Spencer was like this, looking at Sony and Nintendo like this.
got him. Okay? Yeah. Anyway, leave this video for y'all to enjoy. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still a Star Wars, a Star Trek thing. Or Dark Sage. Go. Peace.